Hi there, Matt Wade here, and in this video, we are going to cover channel calendars in Microsoft Teams. So let's jump right in. All right, so a reasonably new feature add to Microsoft Teams as of early 2021 is the new channel calendar that's being introduced to Microsoft Teams. I'm gonna jump into it uh, directly and show you exactly how it works. Uh, stick around though towards the end, I'm gonna talk about what the implications are here, what it can do, what it can't do, and uh, how you might wanna best use it in the future. So in this uh, example here, I have uh, a team has a number of channels, and if I go up to the plus sign to add a tab, um, and I give it a little bit of a search, and I look up calendar, you'll note that one of the options that pops up is uh, one of the Microsoft options, which you can always tell Microsoft's apps because they're purple and have a very simple icon and the icons usually match an icon you already are used to. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to add a channel, channel calendar. Uh, and let's say for this, it's just going to be, you know, team calendar. And I hate always posting new tabs to the channels. So I'm going to unclick that and I'm going to click save. So this is now adding an actual usable calendar that's going to have appointments that can be uh, assigned to your availability like in Outlook and in Teams, which is a major difference from what uh, any other calendar option you've had built right into Teams uh, has been there uh, at least until this new feature has come out. So you can see there's actually already something here. If I jump back to posts, just before I had scheduled a daily 9 a.m. meeting. So uh, that starts today. Today I'm recording on a Saturday. If I go back over to the calendar here, you can see that at 9 a.m. on this Saturday, <clears throat> and if I move over one week, this is a daily recurrence. Any existing channel, uh, channel meetings will automatically be on this calendar. So basically this calendar surfaces all of the existing calendar appointments or channel, count, channel meetings that existed uh, in that channel you know, even prior to creating the calendar. So like the calendar existed, it just was never a feature that we could add as a tab. So from here I can just add or click and uh, create a, you know, any sort of meeting that I'd like. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that the channel is not something that I can change because this is only a calendar associated with this channel. So I cannot remove the, cha the channel, this finance channel. I also cannot change it to a different channel because I am in that channel, I'm on that channel calendar no changes to that. I can add somebody else or invite people into this. So I can invite anybody in the team. It doesn't matter if they follow the channel uh, or you know have uh, muted the channel, whatever else. If they're a member of the team, I can invite them in here and then uh, go forward uh, with this. So if I go back to the team calendar, you'll see now this channel calendar or channel meeting is here. It is hard to uh, juggle the two terms now, channel meeting and channel calendar. And if I go back to posts, <clears throat> this should show up now as a meeting. Yep, there's finance review meeting for uh, that appointment that I created. So this isn't really anything new from the, the perspective of creating meetings. It's more of a place to hold all of the meetings in one place so that you can kind of see it in an organized fashion. Now, what does this sort of imply and how can it work uh, with re respect to like, you know, how you want to do your work? Well, first off, a lot of people have been waiting for basically the group calendar that's been associated with uh, the Microsoft 365 group behind the Microsoft team to be uh, available. This is not it. In fact, if you go into every channel and you add a channel calendar, it creates a different calendar for every single channel. So it's not even centralized. It is specifically channel by channel and that's it. Uh, if you aren't familiar with how the, um, the group calendars work or the group behind the scenes, uh, if every single Microsoft three, or every single Microsoft team comes with a group behind the scenes and there is a calendar associated with it, unfortunately, those calendars are difficult to find. Um, and if you do start um, including people in channel meetings, they don't necessarily get invited. Uh, if you want that to change, you're going to have to talk to your IT admin and they're going to actually have to run a PowerShell script to expose that group in Outlook, and then every single person has to change their status on whether or not they're following that um, uh, that group. Uh, in fact, I think the IT admin can push it so that everybody follows it, but if I look over in Outlook right now, uh, as an example, this team, uh, I never ran, ran the script, so I can't even see the group behind it, but as other groups that I have in, in um, 
Outlook here, if I click on one of the groups and I click on the ellipsis and go to settings, there's an option here for manage group email or inbox. And this is what you wanna have is receive all email and events. That's how you get invited to all channel meetings. So when we go back over to Teams, these channel meetings, when you create a new one, whether it's in the calendar or if you create it directly in the post section itself, um, if you want people to actually get invited to this and for it to take up time on their calendar, you have to put in their name here for them to get an invitation. Otherwise, this is not showing up on their calendar. They are only seeing it as like a broadcast in the team, uh, in the channel itself. So if you're not familiar with channel meetings, this is sort of a crash course in them. <clears throat> if you are and you are looking for like a solution to that problem, this is not that solution. So just something to keep in mind there. Now, uh, there are a couple uh, limitations to this feature. First off, you cannot do this in a private channel. So let's take a look at that real quick. I do have a private channel right here. I can go up to add a new tab. And if I search for calendar, you will note that uh, app is not available. So uh, I don't know if that will be fixed or be made available in the future, but as with all things related to private channels, it's a complex solution. A lot of things just don't work in it. So don't be surprised there. Uh, another thing is guest access. So I'm in the finance channel here in my regular uh, account that has full access here. I'm a member of this organization. But if I go over and I look at my guest account, this is the same tenant, the same team. Uh, this is uh, my Gmail account though being used as a Microsoft Live account. I can see the meetings and I can load the tab but I can't actually see the calendar because I need to have an account to do it. I need to have an account with Outlook to have access to that. So I'm actually gonna get an error, which is what you saw right there. So that's, you know, so be it. Um, <clears throat> people can, that are guests can still join the meetings, which is good, right? Uh, you can invite them, they can still see them, they can still go in and join because they're just guests, not a big deal. Um, but they cannot actually go in and click on that tab and open it up and see it as a legitimate calendar. They also can't add a tab themselves. So that's something to keep in mind. Another, there is no integration with Outlook for this, uh, at least not yet. You cannot take this calendar and place it on top of uh, your existing Outlook calendar as, or share it like a, a separate calendar. Like um, a lot of people like to have multiple calendars that they can kind of turn on and turn off. This is not that. You will not have that feature, uh, at least not yet. And uh, lastly, there is no connection to anything related to SharePoint calendars. If you're using SharePoint calendars as sort of a workaround for the fact that there just is no good feature out there for calendars and teams, uh, SharePoint does fill a lot of the gaps uh, that, you know, not having any sort of central calendar uh, doesn't you know offer. Um, if you have a SharePoint calendar right now and it works for you, you might want to stick with it. Uh, if if you are really concerned about the fact though that you can't actually invite people to those uh, SharePoint calendar events because SharePoint can't actually take over your availability in Outlook or Teams, this is probably going to be an upgrade for you. So you definitely want to look into this um, if you are looking for that availability aspect. Um, another tip on this, you don't want to have like one central calendar for like everything. Uh, and the reason for that is because you don't want like over too many overlapping meetings. This is going to be really good for like specific use cases. Maybe you have uh, specific resources that like, you know, uh, aren't necessarily something that would be put into uh, Outlook as a reservation tool, like like a conference room, like maybe it's something, a piece of uh, equipment or something like a, you, you, maybe you work in a, um, a microbiology or something and there's a, uh, a specific microscope that you, your organization owns, you know, that could be a reservation process for this. Now, again, it, it, every meeting here does show up as a meeting. So people would be joining that. Uh, so maybe SharePoint would be the better deal for that. Um, but as you start overlapping times, like if this was a vacation calendar, I think this would get overwhelming because this whole channel would be just completely filled with channel meetings that nobody would ever be clicking because everybody would be on vacation. Um, but maybe you just make a channel that's called vacation calendar, period, and the tab is the calendar itself. Uh, it's just that the post section would be completely useless because it would just be overrun uh, with people putting in their, their time off. So uh, a few things to consider there. This is definitely a cool new feature. I hope that it has uh, some uh, improvements coming to it in the future. 
uh, especially some integrations with Outlook and with the actual group calendar that exists with this team already, because now you kind of are building uh, lots and lots of different calendars together. But it is a nice centralized look at all the calendar events or the channel meetings that have basically been existing as these just one off arbitrary listings in post based on the last time somebody posted on it, which is just kind of a mess. So this is a nice way to clean that up and, and bring things all together into a place that looks like the way that we think of, you know, events, calendars and, and all that kind of stuff. And if you find uh, tips and tricks like this helpful, you are going to love my new book. Uh, Teach Yourself Visually Microsoft Teams is coming out soon. Uh, you can get the link to pre-order on Amazon now. Uh, should be your, basically your go-to field guide to using Microsoft Teams with step-by-step uh, you know, -step instructions, but also best practices, suggestions from the field. I hope you'll like it and uh, definitely take a look at that. So this is the overview, hopefully, of, of uh, channel calendars. Hopefully you found it useful. Uh, if you did, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. I'm actually curious. I'd love to hear who is excited about this because I think this is good, but I also think this is one of those like it's a 60% solution. Um, and I'm curious to know who thinks it's a 100% solution and why, because I'm sure there's plenty of the cynics out there that are going to say that are going to agree with me or maybe even worse and say, nope, it's a 20% solution. But I'd love to hear the use cases of where can this be really uh, used in a really great way. Um, there are some things that I've been thinking of for my own organization and uh, it's going to be useful, but um, I'm kind of curious to uh, hear how you're going to get your, your way around the, um, some of the limitations. So with that, uh, happy uh, organizing your uh, channel meetings and your appointments and whatnot in the new channel calendar in Teams.